Okay, hey everyone, welcome to another episode of On The Restroom Off The Cuff. Today we have a cool update for you from the brand Brellum. A little bit about them, they were founded back in 2015 by Sebastian Mueller, which essentially is a fourth generation uh, of a watchmaking family that dates all the way back to 1885. And uh, Sebastian, with over 25 years of personal experience in the Swiss, Swiss watchmaking industry. Now, of course, Brellum are Swiss-made timepieces, and essentially they're all chronometers. They're just insane. Um, and I've reviewed them on my channel pretty thoroughly and this particular one is my own personal duo box which is one of the finest watches I've ever owned and now uh, it has a bracelet option guys a fitted bracelet and this thing is killer and that's what I'm sharing with you guys let's get it in hand okay so as we can see this thing's beautiful. I've definitely gone well into the details on this particular timepiece. So I will uh, let you guys, I will forego most of the details here and really focus on the bracelet, which is the main change. But just for you junkies out there, I'm gonna give you some chrono action. Okay, so you get a little bit more movement on this beautiful dial. Okay guys, so now we have a fitted bracelet uh really beautifully done uh these things on the, the bracelet itself if you want to buy it separately it goes for about 244.70 uh us dollars there look at the level of finishing on there guys the freaking brushing my goodness okay it's it's on par it matches the level of quality here on this beautiful case that we've seen so many times on my channel already and let's go ahead and stop it Snap it back. Oh yeah. Very, very satisfying. Dual box, as in two beautiful box domed crystals, right? This thing, gorgeous. The bracelet is held together. Um it's 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 all uh it's all solid machined. It's held together by uh pins with collars, so pin and collar setup. Um, you know, it works really, really well, actually. It was very easy to adjust. Essentially, there's one collar that's in one of these center links here, um, and it and it goes in nicely, and you don't have to worry about it backing out or lock tightening it or anything like that. You just put it in, and you fire and forget. Um, so although it's a little bit harder than, say, a screw-in, I've come to really enjoy uh, not ever having to worry about pins backing out, which in screw pins, they do back out. Um, adds a nice heft to it. This thing feels great. You guys might remember I had it on last. I had it on this beautiful custom strap from, from uh, Brellum. I worked with Sebastian to actually get the beautiful uh, blue stitching uh, with the gray uh, alligator print there, the, the blue stitching matching that blue seconds hand absolutely perfectly. Love this combination, but at the end of the day, uh, really having that gray, uh, it was chasing something as versatile as uh, just a bracelet, guys. And the mesh, although a mesh option is available and quite nice, on the bracelet, it just makes it even crazier, better. And what's even more insane is I looked up the recent price on these, the US dollars on the site, 22.58. Insane, so now you can get chronometer, um, not just chronometer spec, chronometer grade, an actual COSC certified chronometer 7750 right which they've customized and dressed up and finished absolutely beautifully to such a high degree guys this thing's amazing let's actually get it all right on my stuff. seven and a quarter inch wrist look at that beast lovely just there was like the one complaint you could have about it is that there wasn't a steel bracelet option and then you get it and not only is it a steel bracelet option it is absolutely dropped Ed, gorgeous and finished to such a high level you can see wraps really well you even do get half link options full link half link you get a couple I actually took out uh, two half links on this side two half links on this side and uh, you can see here nice solid uh, system there really nicely machined nothing catalog about this guys this is all just done from the ground up to a beautiful beautiful level of finish there and it works really well. I mean, yeah, it's a 7750, so it's got some height to it. Don't get me wrong, but uh, you know, I think this nice 
bracelet. It just has a beautiful uh, feel to it. Obviously, nice and sporty, but quite luxurious and, and eye-catching, guys. They could have went with a typical three-link or, you know, maybe something in, in the vein of Beads of Rice or Jubilee. Yeah, you know, those options are there, but I, I congratulate and, and commend Sebastian for putting out something that's just a little bit different in the vibe. Uh, that you get there and I think it's really suits the watch uh, one because you do get those beautiful highlights with a with the high finish polish there on those center links but what you also get is just an aesthetic that just screams built like a tank and this thing is absolutely built like a tank this this is just a super solid timepiece uh, and I'm really enjoying it more than I ever have because I'm a real bracelet guy, guys. So I don't have to worry about the comfort of this type of, which is great because these straps do a wonderful job of keeping these straps uh, lasting forever because the, you don't have to bend and hook back. So it really preserves them really, really well, right? But having this and these triggers and everything all up against your wrist it's just not the same experience as this right here and how smooth and tucked away everything is. As you can see, guys, if we compare, see here the triggers are really on your wrist versus up here, the triggers are well above. So, you know what, let's actually set this thing up and uh, do some uh, loom in a little low light just so you guys can get a better idea of the finish. Okay guys, we'll go ahead and hit the lights. All right, a loom beast, this thing is not, it never has been, and it was never trying to be, but let's get some low light transition to give you guys a little idea of just the level of absolute perfection, excellence that you're getting from this bracelet, guys. So this low light transition will reveal many of the imperfections in the finish that are washed out by these studio lights. But when you got a nice finish, what this low light transition does, it adds enough contrast to where you can really appreciate it. Sure, there's a little bit of cloudiness from me and my muggy little hands touching the watch over those high polished portions. But look at the brushing, look at the way the light just absolutely dances across that brushing and of course if you haven't seen the full review of this watch you're probably going to notice the way the light is playing off of that gorgeous pale silver dial here but man i just can't get over just how beautifully done this watch is and just how it all comes together and for the price it's just absolutely amazing and uh, tough to beat guys tough to beat swiss made chronometer now even a factory bracelet, fully fitted, beautiful. This thing's nuts, guys. It sings, it has legs. Everything you can do to describe something being sexy, this bad boy's got it. If you want more details on the watch itself, definitely check the links, right? To check my channel history, get more details on the Brellum Dual Box, you, you won't be disappointed. If you're here and you're like, man, if only this thing had a strap <laughs> and you saw those videos, guys, it has a strap now. It, it, it has a metal bracelet and it's killer. Um, you know, everything you liked about the watch already and now just take it up to another level and I think it's gorgeous. It makes me want to buy more dual boxes and like other combinations and like throw them on this bracelet. Um, <laughs> so it's nuts. It's really kind of revived and rejuvenated my love for this timepiece and it still remains uh, one of the finest timepieces I've ever owned and I will have this in my collection forever so don't bother asking me if I'm gonna sell it anytime soon. But I do know who is selling them, Sebastian from Brellum. So take a look guys, now's the time if you want just a complete package of bang per buck, right? Sure, Brellum is a newer brand and they're a micro brand and uh, they don't have the pedigree or the prestige of some other um, watches that are out there. But with the addition of this bracelet, plus everything it already offered before, the level of finishing, just the level of just absolute, utter excellence when it comes to the execution of a timepiece, of a 
chronometer certified Swiss made uh, chronograph, right? Whew, man, there's, what is this thing gonna, what is it facing? What's close to this that's out there, close to this, that's within this price range that is close to as good as this is? I, I Tell me in the comments, because I don't know what is. I, I, and thinking of stuff that I'm like, nah, cheaper movement. It's not even a true chronograph. Um, you know, although it's maybe a little bit slimmer, more colorful. Uh, but then it doesn't have a bracelet. And then uh, just looking at it, it's just a different type of finish. It's more utilitarian and more sporty. This is just pure luxury. I mean, I've worn this watch into an IWC uh, authorized dealer. Uh, that was actually one of their boutiques. Well, not an authorized dealer, but I do see boutique. And they were they were checking it out, guys. They were and that was before the bracelet. They were like, whoa, this they were giving me the time of day. I'll tell you that much. So again, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like the video, please do it like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.